Hello everyone, in this video you are going to learn about what is group in Tableau and how to create a static group and how to create dynamic group in Tableau and you are going to know about what is the difference between static group and dynamic group in Tableau. So see this excel sheet here you have a groceries data with three fields product id, product name and price and here are product names and these are three different categories like fruits, vegetables and bath and shower. And now I am going to group these product names and I am going to add that to specific category. So for example, I am going to group this uh, all the fruits and I am going to add these fruit names to the fruits category and uh, I am going to group these vegetables and I am going to add these vegetable names to the vegetables category. So similarly, I am going to add these uh, soaps and shampoos to the bath and shower category. Let's go to Tableau and uh, first I am going to drag this product name into row shelf and I will drag price into column shelf. So now you can easily add these uh, members to the group. Just keep pressing on control and uh, select the members that you want to add to the group. So banana and um, dragon fruit, grapes, mozambi, orange, papaya. So I am not uh, selecting this uh, star fruit because I will show you later that how to add missing member to the group. Okay, so I am not uh, selecting this uh, star fruit to the fruits category. So, so now you can see this uh, tool tip with a paper, I, paper clip icon here so when you click on this so the field is created in the data pane with a icon uh, paper clip icon which indicates that uh, this field is a group so click, right click on uh, click on edit group so group name is a combination of uh, all the members that you have selected you can also rename this uh, group name so I will just uh, rename it as uh, fruits and uh, now i will show you how to add a missing member to the group so for example star fruits uh, uh, comes under fruits category so to add this uh, member to the group just click on this uh, member then uh, you can see this option add to click on this drop down and you can simply click on the group name fruits so that uh, member is added to this uh, group fruits okay I will group all the vegetables and I will add that uh, vegetables in vegetables category. So keep pressing on control and uh, select the members that you want to add to the vegetables. So onion, potato. Okay, then click on uh, group. So the group is created with a combination of all the names that you have selected. You can uh, rename this uh, group name. I will just name it as vegetables. Then uh, OK. Right click and uh, edit group. So promegranate is uh, missing to add to the fruits group. So click on it and uh, add to fruits. So the remaining are uh, bath and shower products. Just keep pressing on control and uh, select the members and click on this group. So by default, it uh, these members are in uh, other group. So rename this uh, as bath and shower. So click on OK. So now I will add this uh, product name group into the row shelf. So this blue color indicates that these are all the members in uh, fruits category and orange color indicates that these are all the members in vegetables category and similarly these are all the members which are in gray color comes under this uh, bath and shower. So now you can easily compare the sales between um, fruits, uh, vegetables and um, bath and shower categories. So this is a static group which means that uh, if a new item is uh, added to the data set, for example, if uh, jackfruit is uh, added in the data set, it will not be automatically 
added to this uh, fruits category so we need to make it as a dynamic group so that uh, if any new item is added to the data set it will uh, automatically reflect to this uh, groups okay so let's make it uh, to dynamic group i will create a calculated field and uh, i will name this uh, calculated field as a dynamic group so let me write the calculation if contains function so which will returns true if the specified substring is uh, present in product id so product id and uh, i will give the substring as a uh, fruit then i will add this member to fruits for you okay else if contains uh, fill name is product id comma substring is vegetable so i will just give uh, three letters in uh, vegetables category so then vegetables and next else if contains fill in product id comma substring is i will just give vath and then it will add to bath and shower okay so i am going to click okay and uh, drag this dynamic group uh, calculated field into the rochef so this is the calculated field uh, dynamic group and uh, i will remove this uh, product name group from the view so so now this is a dynamic group so in the data set if a new item is uh, adding for example uh, let me add uh, a fruit item so i will just give the product id as a uh, fruits hyphen 09 so the product id should be unique and uh, i will add jackfruit or uh, i will add uh, pineapple in the fruits category and i will add um, vegetables in the an item vegetable in the vegetable category so let me give uh, the product id as vegetables hyphen 08 so i will add capsicum Okay, so let me save this data, and uh, in the tab view, I will uh, refresh this data set. Yes. So you can see in the fruits category, the new item uh, pineapple is added, and in the vegetable category. so capsicum is added automatically so this is a dynamic group when a new item is added into the data set it will automatically add it to that specific group in tab view thanks for watching please do subscribe and like this video